Hello, hi, wow, I need to shave. Today I am on the floor in my kitchen because I'm gonna be building a decontamination chamber for COVID-19 for, you know, household stuff like groceries, phones, stuff I need decontaminated, you know, because who knows how long this is gonna last. I wanted to build this thing because, you know, I can control whether or not I go outside, interact with people, get sneezed on in my mouth, but I can't help the fact that I need food and a lot of it and bring it back in here. So I just need that last variable just out of the way so I can feel safe in my own home. Oh boy, this is gonna be a long year. Right, let me show you what you're gonna need. You are gonna need a UVC lamp, germicidal. It kills bacteria, viruses, mold spores. I, I think I bought mine for like 10 bucks. Next up, aluminum tape, AKA foil tape. You're gonna wanna cover all dimensions of the container you're using. And just in case you run out of foil, you can use aluminum foil and tape. I will probably have to do that. In terms of containers, you can use pretty much anything you want. Anything that is big enough to hold whatever it is you're trying to sanitize. I'm gonna be using my cupboard. I'm gonna be using this mostly for like groceries and stuff. So I'm gonna need a large volume of closed off space. So this works out. And that is it. Here's the end result, looks really good. So that is how you make one of those. But before I go, some important relevant stuff. UVC is the shortest and most dangerous wavelength when compared to UVA and B. This is because it's the most energetic. Germicidal lamps usually emit light with wavelengths at around 180 to 254 nanometers. So it damages the DNA in your skin cells. This is why it is widely regarded as being carcinogenic. Prolonged exposure can also cause cornea damage. So I'd recommend not staring directly into a UVC lamp. And also putting this UVC lamp in a container that's like secluded out of the way and opaque enough to avoid avoid leaking, that would be a good idea. So like metal, wood, cardboard. Last safety thing, lamps that emit light under 220 nanometers in wavelength can create ozone when they're turned on, AKA O3. It's just unnecessary and dangerous. I would recommend going with a lamp that emits light 254 nanometers in wavelength. So like if you were to go on Amazon, you could go down and look at the specs and you could find what kind of wavelength it emits. So how does UVC radiation kill microorganisms like bacteria, mold spores, and viruses? Without getting too technical, UVC light breaks down and deforms their DNA. This literally sterilizes them and prevents their cells from being able to reproduce. And when they can't replicate, they die. Every last one of them. Anyway, according to Google, the average bacterium will only survive 10 seconds, six inches away from a germicidal lamp. Also, according to Google, you should leave your stuff in there for up to 30 minutes. I don't know, for things like cell phones, remotes, groceries, it can't really hurt to just leave it in there. But if you want specifics, you can always just Google it. In conclusion, I think that this would be a good addition to the old COVID-19 tool belt to help stop the spread, make you feel safer about going grocery shopping, along with doing things like wearing a face mask and drinking bleach. That was a joke, don't do that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.